Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Wace and today, finally, it is a great day outside and it is a day for racing. Uh, the drag strips are finally open today and I've got tons of stuff to do before I can get out there. Um, right now, I think it's like around two o'clock. We're gonna head out maybe around 3.30, um, driving with a couple of my buddies, actually uh, Grant from the, That Black Hatch is gonna be there and I have a couple other buddies from the local area who are gonna be riding with me. Uh, there's a couple of things I wanna do today that I haven't done before. Um, on this car, I've done it on my 2015 or my 2021 WX, which, but it is to remove the seats, uh, front and back. The back, obviously the baby seat's gonna have to stay at home, so we're gonna try to do just a little bit of weight reduction. Uh, right now the car is running on 93, so we're gonna move that over to my E40 blend, which is about 363 horsepower. Um, I do need to get out there and practice a couple of launches before we go out, because um, I wanna do as well as I can. And also, I do want to get the side skirts and the front lip back on. Uh, everything is painted, things look good, and this will be a really good test to see if, if all my gluing actually it works. You know, like, this is a great test to see if like, the, the stuff breaks. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera. We're gonna start with removing the seats, and this, I'm gonna try to guide you guys as much as I can. I don't really know exactly how it's gonna go yet, but uh, it's gonna be kind of a quick video because I don't have a whole lot of time. So, anyway, let's get started. Okay, if this is anything like the 2015, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take off those plastic bits and there's gonna be some screws underneath there. And if we come to the front of the car, actually move this back, there's um, these bolts right here that we have to take. And then we should be able to tilt the seat back and there's a couple of screws underneath, uh, sorry, not screws, there's a couple of cables underneath that we're gonna have to unplug and that should be it for the front seat. Um, the back seat, I'm not 100% sure. I think it still comes up like if I grab it from underneath, I think I can still like pull it up. And uh, there's a couple of screws in the trunk and uh, let's see if we can find them. It, it really shouldn't be that bad. Okay, so all the bolts are off. I actually ended up using a 12 millimeter socket for those, there's four of them. Now that you've got this seat tilted back, you'll see that there's a couple of plugs here. There's the silver one, this yellow one, and this white one, and it's going into this harness, and all three cables come out of this. So I'm gonna assume that I just remove these three, and then that should be, that should do the trick. I want to take care not to break them. They are a pain to get out. Oh, I don't want to do that again. Ouch, ow, that hurt a lot. So basically this yellow tab needs to be pulled up and then you can pull the top portion of it out. That, that hurt my finger quite a bit. So I'm just gonna slide that back on. That looks like that's all three of these cables. This should come off somehow. I think that's just plastic. Yeah, so that's just a plastic tab. That comes out, seats out.
Underneath the seat, there's actually like a little plastic latch that if you put your hand underneath there, you can grab it like, like a hook, pull it forward and up, and it releases the seat. So this is the clip I'm talking about. You pull this forward and it unhooks the bottom of the chair and the other side has one as well. And the two plugs that you need to unplug is that one and that one right there. And that uh, takes off the bottom of the chair. Okay, so what you guys saw, this was really interesting. Um, once the, <clears throat> once I had the, this, this backing, there was four clips. So I took those clips off and then in the, on the back of the smaller side, there was two 12 millimeter bolts that needed to be removed, which took the other side out. And there was one 12 millimeter attached to the other side and this bracket, which kept the bigger side on. So now that that's off, the whole seat can come out. Just like that. So as you can see, the front seat is out. And we'll come on to the back. And the back seat is out too. There's actually a way station at the gas station where I need to go to get uh, some ethanol. So what I'll do is I probably will uh, See if I can get on the weigh station just to see how much weight we lost. Of course, I'm gonna to try to leave everything behind, everything that I can. I think that's really about it. I'll leave the jack in the back just in case. You never know. All right, guys, so the car is done, and I gotta say, it actually looks really good. I've been looking at these skirts sit downstairs for like forever, and I'm glad that those turn out okay. Now, the front lip also looks good. Um, now, obviously, it being a, hold on, let me brighten it up. Obviously, it being a three piece is an issue. As you can see, there is this section here that um, shows that it's a three piece. But besides that, if you actually just look at the car, I mean, it does look pretty good. It actually looks really good. And from a distance, you can hardly tell, which I think most people, that's what they're gonna see. Uh, eventually, I'll see if I can get like a one-piece slip. I don't know if there is one. And there's the sides again. I mean, it's, it looks really good. Very understated. Um, it's not like super obnoxious in your face which is what I like about it. Oh, that's too bright now. There we go. I mean, overall, it looks really good. We're gonna take it out into the sun. Um, I, what I need to do now is I need to go get some ethanol and I gotta start heading there because this took me longer than expected. So I'm gonna pack up all my stuff and let's get going. So I stopped at a, the gas station and they have a, a weigh station here. And so by default, the car is supposed to weigh 33, 20 pounds. And so I'm at 3180, which is actually, it's a pretty decent amount that we just dropped. So I'm gonna start getting some ethanol in here and we're gonna make our way to the, uh, the racetrack. All right guys, so we're at the track finally. Car is teched, everything is good to go. I'm actually lined up to do my first pass here. I've got, I think, like six cars in front of me. I've got the 360 camera on. I've got my buddy, um, Grant, who's actually gonna be recording me from the outside. As you can see, there's nothing in the car. Uh, this should be really interesting. Uh, car number is 67. 
Uh, once I run, they actually send us the times on the on the um, on the app, so we can see them right away. Um, should be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I'm really excited. Uh, this is actually the first time I've been back here since October. In October, the car was still pretty much stock. It had the JB4, but I wasn't really using it at that time. Uh, today, we are making 363 horsepower, 415 pound-foot of torque. Uh, let's see how it goes. Back. Next is a Waste 2022 VB with an E50 blend, 360 horsepower at like three at like 410 torque. Still no launch control. I guess so first pass uh, was okay, 12.8 at 110, which is pretty good. And now, actually we're lining up with Grant from That Black Hatch, and now we're gonna try to run together. That's, that's, that actually should be a lot of fun. So that, that time against Grant, that was actually really terrible. I don't know what I should have done differently. The, the road was actually completely wet and I didn't move at all. Um, I got a time of like 16 and a half because like first and second gear, I just sat there and I spun. So I'm gonna try to see if I can do things a little bit differently on that side, but it's, you know, it's a learning game. to be a little dark now as you can see uh, it's starting to get dark but we're actually gonna do one more we're gonna line up one more time a couple of the other guys from the car meet the car groups are actually here uh, but I think one more is good it's tough it's hard and I'm old so let's go do one more I'm gonna try to get it to 12 5 this time let's see what we do plenty of racing and actually had a really good time buddies are actually uh, heading home too and the best time I had was 12 8 and I just couldn't do better than that I think the last one was 13 2 the one before that was 13 the the run before that was like 16 which that doesn't even count because I was just terrible um, but anyway it was a lot of fun I actually there's like we actually have a Facebook group of racers so I got to go on there and post like where I ended up, but uh, we'll do this again. This is actually now every three weeks or like every four weeks or something. So we'll be back here. Autocross is coming up. Um, what else is coming up? Track days are coming up. So there's gonna be tons of racing. I can't wait. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.